Parasites. Every single public servant here is a parasite. come to. Oh, look at them. Look at all these parasites lingering around. <laughs> he gives me a ticket for $200. He owes me a thousand. And I'm here to collect. Okay, from this parasitic public servant building. And now I'm in this toilet. Look at them. <laughs> Parasites! Every single public servant here is a parasite! Hey, really? What are they going to do? for the late response to your email. This was sent to me but seems to have slipped through the cracks in my workload. In response to your questions, 1. What courtroom is CRN number being heard in? It currently says it's being heard and held in courtroom 2, but it's all always best to check at level 1 criminal counter on the day because things can change. 2. Who will be the presiding judicial officer with regards to this matter? As to the judicial officer, I am not sure who it will be at this stage. They're not going to know who it will be until the day, according to Georgina. 3. Do we have the right to keep an independent record, being a party to these proceedings? I am not sure what you mean by this. Can you please clarify? Kind regards, Kim. Well, my response goes like this. Hi Kim, 
We have been contacted by Georgina Dawson of Auckland District Court. She has to date confirmed now courtroom 2 at the new time of 2.15pm. As the mystery judge cannot be named, it astounds us that it appears potluck. Georgina has stated that you cannot know until the 13th who is presiding. How are we to check the standing of a judicial officer if even Auckland District Court doesn't know who is doing what? As to questions 1 and 2, thanks. To clarify further, please explain what you do not comprehend. Independent, record, party, right or proceedings. We refer you to section 14 of the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 as notice has been given to Auckland District Court of our wish to exercise these rights affirmed. As we have said to Georgina, should Auckland District Court supply evidence that we do not have the right to seek, receive and impart information or opinions of any kind in any form. We would add that especially as courtrooms are an excellent location to seek an opinion, see New Zealand Butterworth's Law Dictionary 5th edition page 211, and or receive information, see New Zealand Butterworth's Law Dictionary 5th edition page 143, why wouldn't everyone do so? We have very little trust and confidence in obtaining transcripts or taking, it, or after taking months to get them, they are completely inaccurate. Therefore, we shall be recording. Again, should Auckland District Court supply evidence of a lawful reason as to why we cannot exercise rights affirmed, we are all heirs. Can you supply anything? As it stands, Georgina has informed me that we are on a judges list, whatever that means, to discuss recording at 2.15. We have stated that we fail to comprehend what there is to discuss with regards to recording. Georgina has suggested to us to take some handwritten notes. However, it is our wish to digitally record this matter. If the mystery judge or JP wishes to ask questions, we would refer him, her, them to the notice of fee schedule supplied to Auckland District Court previously, see Georgina. Should the mystery man or woman choose to discuss the New Zealand Police's allegation, and that is within his jurisdiction, we would require Auckland District Court to produce evidence of jurisdiction that the prosecution has supplied to establish such. Do you have any? As we are innocent of every element of any alleged crime, and given that jurisdiction is one element, this would need to be established before we can in good faith make a fully informed plea. Once the nature and cause of these proceedings can be established, we would be happy to do so. Are you legally trained, Kim? Do you comprehend what we are attempting to convey to you? Our suggestion would be to consult with Georgina and let us know if anything changes. We will be visiting tomorrow, so we may just pop in and ask personally, seeing as we'll be there. Okay, uh, Kim writes back to me, and this is on the 7th of July. Good morning, Mr. Keane. Thank you for your email. It looks like Georgina has already been, been attending to this matter, so I will leave it with her, and you may continue on the advice she has given you. Kind regards, Kim. My response? Hi, Kim. Georgina has, like yourself, she too fails to answer simple questions. Hopefully, you have clarity with regards to our intentions. Why do ADC staff state to ask questions yet fail to answer any? I shall take your failure to answer questions as a lack of ability. Have a great day. We may see you later. Um, so, Kim has put on notice. 